Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of classifying numbers. This is standard 6.2a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 32 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work the problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have um, some graphic organizers here, and I had to rearrange the, uh, the actual look of the problem so it would go horizontally. Um, so that's why you see F, H, G, and J kind of look strange. This was a vertical problem, but just to make it fit on, fit on the screen, I rearranged it like this. So we're looking for these four numbers, 3 and 4 tenths, negative 2, 3, negative 1, and 2 tenths. Where do those go on a graphic organizer for classifying numbers? And as you can see, we each, each of these answer selections have three different options. So we've got the whole number, we've got the integer, and then we've got rational. So let's just go ahead and, and take a moment to define each of these. Let's make sure we know exactly what each of these means. So whole numbers, uh, sometimes whole numbers can uh, be said to include counting numbers or natural numbers, uh, depending on which textbook you're using, but counting numbers really works because when we teach kids to count, you know, we teach them to count one, two, three, right? We don't get into decimals, we don't get into fractions. Counting our natural numbers and zero. So we need to make sure we at least include zero into a whole number there. So we don't typically teach kids how to count starting with zero, but zero and then one, two, three, four, five. So whole numbers that are all positive and there's no decimals. So we already have one problem right here for looking at our answer selections is we wouldn't teach a kid to count with negative two. So whole numbers are counting in natural numbers uh, that include zero and so let's just go ahead and put all positive. So we can go and eliminate H as an answer selection here. Now integers are kind of like whole numbers. So I'm going to say uh, they are still whole numbers. We're still not looking at decimals. We are still not looking at fractions, mixed numbers. But here's the difference, positive or negative. Or negative. So take a look at F right here. So F has got a whole number is 3. That looks good. And an integer of negative 2. So it's still a whole number. We're not dealing with negative uh, 2.8 or anything like that. So that works. Uh, so here is the problem with H. H doesn't work because this integer, negative 1.2, doesn't work because it's not. It's negative, which is fine, but it's not a whole number. G uh, doesn't look like it's going to work either because even though my negative 2 works, negative 1.2 is not going to work because it needs to be a negative whole number. And then it looks like we've got problems here on J as well. We've got both 3.4 and negative 1.2. Those are both decimals. And so they both don't belong in the integer. Only one that belongs is that negative 2. So we've taken care of 3, we've taken care of negative 2, so rational numbers. So rational numbers, well first off they could be positive or negative. Um, so let's just say they can be represented as a fraction. Now you might be thinking, but I see decimals. Well decimals can always be represented as a fraction. So they can be represented as a fraction and you have a whole number as a numerator and a denominator and it can either be positive or negative. And you notice how we get a little bit bigger and a little bit wider each time we go out in our uh, Venn diagram here. We just kind of include more and more. So 3.4 can be represented as a fraction because that could be 3 and 4 tenths, right? So we can make that 34 tenths and boom, we can make it into a fraction. So any decimal, so really think of decimals. Any decimal could be turned into a fraction as long as it's not repeating. Decimals are good, and so there you go. F is your answer.